back, everybody. I am back again. I am at Ranger Stop. This is the last day of the con. Right now, it is 4.06 p.m. I do not know why I put down to the minute, but <laughs> I am here with... John from uh, Toy Bounty Hunters. Yeah. If you guys don't know, this guy, he made a video called Attention Time. It's currently at, what, seven parts? Uh, yeah, we're at seven parts now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I recently caught him while he was making his next part. Uh, Coincidentally, when you posted your last part, the latest one, I was like on my phone just like scrolling through YouTube. I was about to go to sleep and unless someone posted something. And then like I refreshed and I'm like, oh, attention time is up now. I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> so I was like, watch. And then like I got, I still, I kind of rewatched it again <laughs> instead of going back to sleep. And this was like really late at night. I think it was like 1 or 12. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, um, what I asked him for a few uh, questions uh, during the the con. He was actually pretty helpful. I was kind of panicking uh, for some things like interviewing the Rangers. Like uh, I was like really panicking, and then I went to him so many times. And he actually recognized. I saw him on day one, which was Thursday, yes. and he like he remembered me, and was like he was like yeah, like he was that he never stopped to. Uh, uh, help me if I need something. If I even he was really busy. I even asked him that when I was interviewing the Ranger. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. We, we fans got to stick together, man. Yeah. We got to help each other out. We're all yeah. a big family. Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, so for attention time, I know you're probably going to do up to the Mighty Morphin thing because yeah. that's what the main focus was, right? Yeah, that was the the intention was always yeah. to at least get up as far as how from it got from Japan all the way up until its adaption to Mighty Morphin and, and then maybe that'd be it. But now I I don't know. I'm not I'm not so sure that it might go beyond that. So I don't know. It's it's all about if the people want to see more than that. If you all want to see it, I'll make it. <laughs> but um yeah it's yeah. that was that was the original intent with it, yeah. It was just to go as far as Mighty Morphin. So for when you do this, if you could do this, would you consider what would you think it would be the best way to do it. Would you like compare the talk about the Sentai season first since it came first, and then talk about the American version, or it would probably become something like that, especially from after Mighty Morphin. Anything pre Mighty Morphin, obviously, you know, the people only see maybe bits and pieces from what they saw in Megaforce, just the costumes, but don't know anything about it. So yeah, any any season after Mighty Morphin, probably Henshin Time would become more of like a comparison show. You know, talk a little bit briefly about what the story is for each season and how they contrast each other. So it would probably go that route, yeah. How about think. for like Die Ranger? Because they only use Mighty Morphin White for the season two and three and then Alien Rangers was kind of like in there a little. Yeah. Yeah. It would probably, yeah, it'd probably be just that. I mean, with those it would have to be just more like Foot, uh, not I, I can't really say footnotes because I mean, but it would be obviously what I would do is probably like what I do with Henshin Time, take and talk about Die Ranger, you mm -hmm. know, as a series, talk about what it was about, you know, give the brief summary like I always mm -hmm. do in the Henshin Time episodes, and then point out things that I might have added to Super Sentai as well, and then with obviously with Mighty Morphin, the other thing that they really talk about there is just how they adapted the Zords and Kiba Ranger, mm -hmm. so. That would probably be the extent of that. Okay. This is a little <laughs> fan thing for me. Mm -hmm. But can you call the Die Rangers and tell them they were squadron? <laughs> <laughs> tell them they were squadron? Yeah, in here in America, squadron. Yeah. So, so you guys know Mega Force, Super Mega Force, or actually it was just Super. Yeah, right. it's squadron. Yeah. They were called squadron. They were called squadron. You just never saw it. Yes, and it, that's the thing with a lot of those. Megaforce ones, they gave them really weird names. Like, I think yeah. one of them was Blitz or something. Because yeah. I haven't they, seen Megaforce. Actually, they use Blitz a lot. The, the, yeah. So there's more than yeah. one team named Blitz? Well, actually, they, I think, yeah, because uh, Jake turned into... No, Gia turned into Blitz, and that was... I think that was Masked Man. Mm. And then okay. for the chain, for another one, it was Change Man, and that was Jake. Oh, wow. that Blitz mode. So, two different Blitzes. Yeah, that's... That's what I would expect, though. That's why I was kind of, you know, with, with, with Megaforce, I knew a lot of people didn't like this. I haven't seen it yet, so I have no opinion of it yet because I haven't seen it, but I've heard more bad than good from most fans of both. 
-hmm. because of that, you know, because they threw in this stuff with really no context. Yeah, they were trying to match the Japanese footage, yeah. mostly. Yeah, and it's just like you're getting, you're, you're putting all these different costumes that, that the American audience isn't familiar with. Yeah. So, and not really giving them a, a backstory, just kind of like, oh, they're going to have this name, and that's yeah. it. So. That's it. You, you're going to post that uh, Mega Force panel that... Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll be yeah. posting that. If you guys didn't know, I was in. I asked them that question, like, for that, because they turned into a bunch of random rangers and they just, like, said, uh, I guess Tensu and Gosei. Yes. No one. Yeah. <laughs> Orion kind of made sense because he was going to be his balloiser, I guess. But, yeah, that was me. In case you guys didn't know. That was your question. <laughs> I don't know. I saw you. <laughs> um, I saw in one of your videos that you. that drive. You found his tire like a beauty pageant type thing. Yeah. And his uh, headpiece was kind of unnecessary. What are your yeah. thoughts on, on him now? I've, I've seen a little bit more of Drive now. I mean, as a series, is at least from the little I've seen, it's decent. But I haven't I haven't seen enough to say, oh, it's, it's a great Sentai, or Sentai, I'm sorry, great Kamen Rider series because I hear mixed things about it still from other people that have actually watched the whole thing. Initially, from what I've seen, I've seen the first two episodes. It seems pretty good. It seems more, a little bit more serious than I thought it was going to be. Not as, not as important. Still so guy. His uh, those that tire and his thing is still unnecessary for a suit. Or well, now now that I've seen what it does a little bit more, it, it, you know, I'm fine with it. I still think it looks kind of silly, but it does serve kind of a purpose in, in a way. But it it's still aesthetically, yeah, I still don't really care for it. Mm. I think it's it's kind of got. What about the other writers of Ghost and X8? Have you seen what they look like? I have not. Yeah, no, I haven't okay. seen. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> okay. Um, do you think it's possible to make for you that you might make an attention time for Mass Rider or Common Rider Dragon Knight? A lot of people have asked about that. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking if we if we'll do it for uh, you know for other attention heroes like Common Riders. Common Riders. I know you did Ichigo in there, and that was about yeah, it, right? Yeah, in the first one. Yeah, just you didn't didn't do not nah, just just with that. So if I was to do it, I would probably start with Nigo, you know, yeah. because since I already mentioned Ichigo in the first part of Henshin Time, but a lot of people have asked. Yeah, a lot of people have asked, will, will you do it for like Common Rider or maybe maybe even Garo? You okay. know, and I don't. You know, I've thought, yeah, maybe. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Do you do? Is there? I know you work for Ranger Stop and stuff. Is there certain things you would like to do that you just probably couldn't because you were working? Oh, a lot of things, yeah. Uh, you know, probably like what you're doing, you know, going around trying to get interviews and stuff like that because it's what I always used to do at, at shows like this. So mm -hmm. that's probably what I'd be doing if I wasn't actually working for the convention is, yeah, probably getting uh, plugs and interviews for the channel. So they wouldn't give you time, or they don't give you time, or? I mean, they have, yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, not everybody, you know, not going to get everybody because they have schedules they got to keep and stuff like that. But, you know, what I say to, to, to people is just like, you know, always keep trying. Ask them. Some of them will be nice enough to take five minutes yeah. or, or more if they have the time. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and you guys didn't know, uh, when I, I did tell you, I did say earlier I was getting interviews from, I did get some people, and some people, like, kind of, like, changed their minds, like, some that weren't feeling it. Some, uh, some I had to get a, a schedule in, and then like I found that out last second. Yeah. But it it was fine. They they didn't, the con was clear now. It was uh, done. It's good. Everything's fine. Yeah. But yep, everything's good. Uh, is there any more things you want to announce that you're gonna do later on? In the future? Uh, I mean, just be on the lookout for the next engine time because it's gonna be pretty big. We have a couple interviews in there with. Uh, you know, Austin St. John, Catherine Sutherland, Steve Cardin, it's just to give a little bit of a sneak peek of what you guys can expect, Tony Oliver, and that's pretty much it, just be on the lookout for that. Well, Tony Oliver returns. Yes, he'll be returning, so just keep an eye out. Alright, this interview is probably going to be first of all the Ranger stuff, Ranger stop stuff, yeah. but right now, uh, that's all we got, all his, uh, Social media, YouTube, all that stuff is going to be in the description. I'll even throw in Ranger Stuff's website in there so you guys can keep keep an eye out for stuff. There's a lot of good people. A lot of people keep speculating that Andros keeps is going to come back no matter what. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. I, I, for me, I, I'm not going to say, I'm not, I will confirm nor deny yeah. anything. So. Yeah.
My lips are sealed. Everyone just keeps saying that around. Yeah. Like, okay, people. Just, just keep on the lookout. That's, all That's up to the con people, and yep. they don't even know. Yep. Um, but I would personally like uh, the Jungle Fury Blue Ranger, just because he has the same last name as me. Keep that in mind. I'll, I'll, I'll keep so, in mind. I'll guys, keep in mind. <laughs> if he comes, you know, God here. Alright, that's all. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Bye-bye.